Six duels of destroying the entire meta going second. So if you're excited for that, screw an intro, hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and pay close attention because I'm about to show you guys a totally new OTK combo going second that none of you have ever seen. And after watching this video, you'll know exactly why I say Pendulum is the best deck and exactly why you must play this deck list. 10 minutes, six duels, let's go. We're gonna get this through as fast as possible. We're going second for Sky Psyker two games, Salamander two games, and Pure Thunder two games. And we're gonna obliterate them. I want you guys to watch closely, okay? I want you guys to watch closely as you see a pattern in every one of my hands and a pattern in every time I attempt to break any board the opponent has. You're gonna notice a pattern and without me saying it, tell me if you see it, okay? First things first, look how broken my hand is. Wait a second, every hand looks like this. Like, you're gonna see in all the videos I show, all my hands look better than your hands. And there's a reason my hands look better than your hands. It's because there's no magicians. There's no garbage. <coughs> there's no two gate zeros. There's no, like, three jackals or some shit that I see people play. Or two endymion, or stupid shit cards. It's just the best list possible that utilizes every good card in Benjamin that makes every good hand good. Anyways, enjoy. You're, lo, notice a pattern as I keep playing, okay? Notice a pattern. You're gonna notice every single hand I play is decent. It's not shit. Even the shit hands are great simply because of the great deck choices, okay? Now this guy's playing Sky Striker. You go Soaker's my servant. If I if my hand my hand was so good, I'm like, I don't even need to play it perfectly to destroy him. I could have got Time Gazer and put it there. With the pen call, I could have searched it, but I'm like, I don't even care. This is my hand so good, I don't need to play optimally. But it is all arguably also optimal to did what I did. Sometimes you get time gazer to protect your servant from ghost ogre. But I also thought there's more of a chance he could have a widow anchor set, which he did does. He has a, he has a widow anchor and an ego booster set with the ghost ogre. And I had the dragon I knew I could have got Dragon Pit instead to pop one of them before I did that. So, one thing I was going to keep in mind is, against Sky Striker and Salaman, great decks that, uh, that are really good in grind game, with one turn of a grind game, you got to OTK them when you have a chance. OTK them straight. I know he has a roll and an engage coming. So, I'm not even thinking of giving him a turn. I'm OTKing him straight up, no matter what. So, I don't care about roll this whole time. I know I'm OTKing him. So, keep in mind, the goal is to OTK. <coughs> I Dragon Pit one of them. A useless card. Big deal. I Dragon Pit Ego Booster... And whether it was Widow, whether it was anything, whether it was a Solemn Judgment, it was useless. Doesn't matter. So, that's two interruptions gone, but now I, this cannot be served by card effects, which will hold us back a bit. But who gives a shit? You're still going to destroy them. Next, as you notice here, pattern coming, hint, hint, pay close attention. We just threw though. A lot of you complain about seeing too much Shrine or Dark Room or something. There's no reason to complain. It's the best card in the deck. You're sending this Zerto most of the time anyways. Not That's why you must play multiple Shrines, Foolishes and stuff. Even if you draw Dark Orb, you're sending Destrudo most of the time. Yazi. He doesn't see it coming because you guys don't play Yazi. Thank you. Yazi Pop. Even if he used that to negate Destrudo's effect, he was still losing to Pensum and Boral Sword win. I know he has Engage left. And hey, Mare Mare is coming. Mare Mare is coming. Notice something here, okay? Dragon Collar Mare Mare is an OTK. Dragon Collar target a token. Make it a Guard Dragon. Uh, make it a dragon to guard dragon LP, normal summon, we didn't even need our pen summon. We didn't even need our pen summon. We pen summon Dark Worm, Curtain Razor, and Chronograph. We didn't even use our pencil summon and we had OTK. Boral Sword Vortex, OTK. We didn't even use our pencil summon and we OTK him through three negates. We didn't even use our pencil summon. That's absolutely nuts. We're gonna go to the next game here. Uh, so now I'm also gonna talk about siding. We're gonna go super fast, okay? So if I'm talking too fast, well, put me on slow-mo or something. Sky pro Sky Circus players always make you, you go first. So what do I do? I sighted out one curtain razor and I sighted out one persona dragon. Sorry, one curtain razor and one duelist alliance. Because going second, you have a higher chance to draw a pen call, so you don't need too much. And I wanted to win into the Zephyr cards. So I thought he was gonna sign in like eight Mystic Mind cards or something like that. Or cards or Nibiru and stuff like that, because Sky Circus are so much better going second. Uh, now this format, but he made me go first, which is also why you don't take out the Mare Mare. Mare Mare is a win con going second. You guys don't understand just how good it is. 
half your deck brings out Mayor Mayor. You have like 15 ways to bring out Mayor Mayor. The whole Guard Dragon combo brings out Mayor Mayor. Harm Rising brings out Mayor Mayor. You have six of them. Just pseudo. Four shrines. That's like 15 cards to do it. Electrum getting a Harm Rising to do it. Like your whole deck just brings out Mayor Mayor. And with Dragon Caller, it's an OTK, which your opponent does not see coming. You have to understand just how powerful it is. And it's not dead drawing. You just tribute summon it. So as you see here, hey, no Foolish or Shrine. No Foolish or Shrine. A lot of you guys can't play the Foolish or Shrine. I dead drew Jackal. I dead drew another servant. Two servants. I don't care. I'm still going to OTK this guy into Oblivion. We're going to bring on Demion instead. What's he do? He's selling judgments. My Electrum. Oh, poor baby. I can't guard you and combo him now. There's no there's no Dark Worm. Oh my god. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Hey, guess what? Look at this. Look at this. I'm going to destroy him. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop another card with Dragon Pit. Uh, eventually, no, I don't do it yet. I just pen summon everything. I'm like, I'm gonna win so easy in this situation. I couldn't pick because of that. And what do you know? Yazi and he just scoops right away because Yazi is the end goal. As you see, harmonizing time games, get wrecked, son. They're just the end goal is too good, too easy. Strikers are gone. Now we're gonna be facing Salamangri. As you guys notice the pattern so far, Mary Mary is the way you guys can't play through three interruptions. Both hands will have three interruptions. You guys can't even play through two, let alone three. And I made it look so easy. I had five monsters on board after I OTK'd him. Like, I could have put up five negates and OTK in the same turn through three interruptions. You guys are noticing, though, there's a pattern. It's called Mare Mare. The pattern. It's not fair. All right? Triff Ryan. Now we're bringing Salamangra. Bringing my friend Killswitch over here. My number one testing partner. Shout out Santiago. Let's go, baby. Let's go. We're going to... He's basically playing Salamangra. We had lots of testing. Lots of testing. But I'll have to show you guys just going second games because going first games, you already know Pendulum are auto win going first through any hand trap. In the future, I'll show how to play first through hand traps. If I'm talking too fast, as I said, slow the video down. We're going fast because there's too much, too much content to show you guys. We gotta go fast, fast, fast. The more, more content, the better for you guys. See, Ash is my shrine. Unfortunate. Look at this bad hand now. But what are you gonna do now versus a Rage and a Valor and an Ash? I don't know if he had Valor, but the Rage is gonna hurt us. So you gotta Dragon Pit that shit, that ASAP. Unfortunately, we didn't have a magician to do this alliance with. We probably should have do this alliance first. That was a mistake on my end, I believe. I might have been able to do this alliance first before he asked. Probably not. Never mind. I couldn't do it anyways. I couldn't do it regardless. So there's no mistake on my end. Obviously, I don't make mistakes. Now we get dragon color and harmonizing. The end goal here is to Yazi him. We don't know. We are, we're assuming this is a random Solomon Great dead card or, or something like that. Or an impermanent or something. And uh, now, uh, anyways, we dragon pit the rage and he rages the time gazer. So all's going good now. All's going good. We have to discard the Jackal because there's no way to put a counter on it. So it's useless in that situation. And Harmonizing Mega Old Dragon. I'm like, all is looking good. All is looking good. Uh, we can't... Electrum will be a little useless because pen calls are scaled. So we go Yazi. I'm like, all's looking good. Yazi popped the pattern. We're about to win. But the last card in his hand that I didn't know was a Valor. So yeah, he got us there. It got us there. Uh, we still have the Distrudo left. We still have the Distrudo left, but we were one monster where the hand just was not good enough to do anything. The hand just did not have enough pluses. We couldn't go Electrum before a pen summon without negging like unbelievably crazy. And it would have got destroyed by hand trap anyway. So we're like uh, super unfortunate. But we our last option here was to go BLS Link, which is a new card we play. Because now the only way we can clear it is if you play the Boral cards of not using Stalio. So I hope he, he uh, used Stalio and misplayed, but he didn't misplay. He went straight into Boral Sword without using it, and I lost that one. All right, now I told you guys, just going second games. Going first games, you already know you're going to win those. You already know you're going to win going first. So now we're going to show you, I told you, like I can show you guys winning first, but everyone already knows how to win first. Going second is the issue. Everyone knows that. So I'm focusing on that for you guys. Let's go. Look at this. Like He opened debug everything. So he has Impermanence, Ghost Ogre. Valor, same thing. Like, you have three interruptions, three hand traps. You guys can't even play through one. You guys can't even play through two. Everyone says go soaker and you end turn, right? Everyone says go soaker and turn. Like, bro, every hand just destroys it. You guys are noticing every hand I'm playing is a good hand because just the way the deck is built, every hand is just great. So we're going to slowly by slowly bait everything out. I'm like, wait, first, but I don't dark room yet. And I tell them I'm a better play. What do you look at this, okay? I'm going to do such a heads up play here. It's crazy. I'm going to keep dark room and grave the entire time. I'm going to use servant first. To try and bait him. He thinks about Ghost Organ, but he's like, no, I'm not going to Ghost Organ instead. I'm going to let the Servant through because that means that a Dark Worm will now be uh, there and it'll seem like it's dead, right? So now it seems like my Dark Worm is dead. I purposely didn't use his effect in Grave uh, to bait him, but look at this now. Now it'll freely let you use Electrum, 
So now I'm going to use Electrum Effect as the perfect bait ever. He's going to have to Ghost Ogre it. I use Electrum Effect, he thinks how this idiot uses Electrum Effect knowing that he had a Ghost Ogre. So now I see uh, he Electrum my Ghost Ogre, and it, I neg the card by Dragon Pitting the Imperm. It looks like all hope is lost, right? But the bait is, un is unreal here. The bait is amazing. Hence allowing you to now summon out Darkroom from your graveyard because uh, it got Ghost Ogre. And now it brings out the whole point of the deck. Like I told you guys, you got rid of Ghost Ogre and Impermanence and you just pencil, you have six monsters on board, right? With the end goal being very simple, it's called Mare Mare. As I told you guys, there is a game plan with everything here. We're gonna save the Ghost Alliance, put counters on Jackal, the Baylor in his hand is dead and that's how you play through everything. We Mare Mare and, every, and full card and combo, Nightmares, everything. And how do we do it? Simply by Jacko playing spell cards. If you don't play all the spell cards, Jacko doesn't turn it to negate, uh, and Demian doesn't turn it to negate, and you can just negate everything, and going second becomes so easy, but you guys don't play the right cards. You play the, you have to play the most minimal Magician Engine ever, and as you see, I utilize my Magician cards so damn well, because I play such a little amount of it, and you just, the only one, when you do play them, they're amazing. I'm telling you, Pearl Poison's garbage, man. Now for Thunder Dragon. Where two of each, two striker, two salamander, two thunder dragon. We're facing pure thunder dragon. This one we're going. I'm going first because I want to teach you guys something. We're in the past world the whole time going first uh, about siding. Okay, when you're going first, your opponent and do your combo. Your opponent is gonna auto scoop a lot of the time, so you're, you don't know what they play. Uh, and in doing so, how are you gonna how are you gonna blind side? How are you gonna blind side? This is a perfect example and a teaching lesson for you guys that what your the opponent uh, scoops. I side, I don't know what I'm basing. I don't know if I'm basing Thunder. I don't know if I'm basing Alter, guys. I don't know if I'm basing anything. So I don't know if I'm going first. I don't know if I'm going second. So the best card to side when you're blind siding is, is Dino Wrestler Pankratox, period. You don't know what you're playing. Unfortunately, the only match Dino Wrestler is bad against is pure Thunder. If you're facing Thunder Chaos, at least I have something for two interruption and you're, and you're good. You at least have something. But, and with the Dino Wrestler, I easily crack, you could easily crack a Thunder Chaos board, but... Not like this. Now, what he does, he ends up, he didn't have access to uh, Titan because he had no, he could have got Titan if you want, but he had no effect. So I'm gonna have to go for Titan. And look at my hand, my hand's shit and I'm still gonna crack his board. My hand sucks, like, uh, versus this hand at least. If I had mastery, I'd, I, it would be amazing. But, like, look at this. He has an Ash Blossom as well in his hand. And if I had Foolish, I had, great, I had some great plays with some cool Yazi plays. As you see, Yazi's the whole point of the deck. But you guys just don't understand that. You guys keep are, are not willing to change how the, you play the deck because I don't know if you're just too scared to do it. But it's just how you play it and break these boards. So I, I my hand sucks. Look how bad my hand sucks. Dino Wrestler is shit against Pure Thunder. But like, look at this. Look at this. It's just a horrible hand. But I'm like, you know what? Little by little, I'm just going to little by little do it. I'm going to do a heads up play here. I'm going to send Dragon Caller, Old Dragon, Add Dragon Caller back. I'm going to use it to make something a Guard Dragon. And you see just how good Old and Dragon Caller are in that situation. Like, they're just so good together, man. Chronograph. Like, this is a shit hand. And uh, we're going to still end up doing this. But what we're going to end up doing now, like, you guys saw that, right? As Electrum and Dino Wrestler is going to end up with a Guard Dragon combo. And we could have Yazi here if we want to because we have the Pseudo Chronograph. And this is where you win, right? But I'm like, you know what? What's that really going to do? I could Yazi pop. Vortex would negate the card he brings out. And I'd have Yazi. But I don't. If I had Aether, this was an auto win. But I'm like, you know what? He's playing pure thunder. He didn't do anything. I'm gonna let it go. Seal's gonna bounce the one there. What else can he do? Nothing. I was right. So simply Yazi. Now I'm gonna do the Yazi thing I told you. He thinks uh, Dragon Matrix will make Yazi miss timing. It'll only make him miss timing if Titan's on board to destroy it. Then I go Yazi Mare Mare. He has an Ash in his hand, but Vortex will be able to negate it. And I just Unicorn the Colossus. Boral Sword Pen Summon Attack for game. So as you see, going second extremely easy. And what is the what is as you notice in the entire matches you guys saw, there's a pattern in everything. It's called summon mare mare. It's as simple as that. Like no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But you guys are too dead set on your own ways to understand what's the proper way to play the deck, which is this. Mare Mare does not brick. Where do you see a brick in this deck? You guys saw six games in a row. Do you see any bad hands? I tested probably 50 games today. Going first, going second. I tested probably 20 games today. First, second, whatever. And all of them had great hands. All of them had great hands. All of them were great hands. Like, there are just no bad hands in this deck. You can shuffle it a million times and they're all going to be amazing, amazing hands. You just need the right extra deck card. These like what nightmare cards like crazy. Then you will nightmare like crazy. Yazi, everything. The deck's just absolutely remarkable. 
The only thing I might want to change is Aether just for Pure Thunder, because Aether is an auto win versus Pure Thunder, but you're not going to see Pure Thunder enough to merit that. And I, Purple Poison, as I said, is just garbage. It sucks versus thing, any Orca's deck because of Dengirisu. It sucks versus Thunder. It sucks versus Pure Thunder. It sucks versus Salamander. It sucks versus Striker. It sucks versus the entire meta. Like the top, it's decent versus Pendulum, but it's going to seal the card you attack with anyways. So, hey, it's literally just useless versus the entire meta just because of how the meta is. Any Gar, Gar Dragon deck, any Orca's deck, any, like, the, it's, there's so many decks. It's only good against Tier 7 Alter Guys decks, which who gives a shit against, about that? Like, the decks are absolutely amazing. Look at this. Every single hand's broken. As I said, the deck is just broken. I can shuffle 50 hands in a row, and they're all going to be auto wins, whether first or second. Whether you draw a member or whether you don't, it doesn't matter. The deck is simply amazing. I'm not, there's no capping here whatsoever. The deck's amazing. It's not clickbait, no nothing. Try it for yourselves and don't misplay. The issue with you guys is you don't see these Yazzie combos or Dragon Caller. You guys don't see it. But if you take the time to educate yourselves, watch my videos, learn, you'll beat your opponent more times than you think even imaginable. Hope you guys liked the video. If you got this far, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.